to my channel, as you saw by the title today, I'm actually going to be testing out a Lush product. If you haven't seen my Lush haul, I will link it right above for you guys so you can go check that out. But today's first impression is going to be on the Cup O Coffee Face and Body Mask. First, I would like to say, yes, I sound kind of like a man. My voice is deeper. I am getting really, really sick and... Um, Hopefully not really, really sick. I just, it hit me out of nowhere. My son, if you had not seen the vlog, my son actually had uh, RSV, which is so heartbreaking, and he had pneumonia at the same time. He's at his dad's house at the moment right now, so I had some time to um, disinfect the house and stuff like that. I did a speed clean video. Not sure if it'll be up before this or after this, but if it is up before, then I'll have it um, linked, but if it's up after, stay tuned. Um, I just disinfected everything, spent like three hours doing it, but uh, yeah, I wanted to sit down and kind of do a face mask. I've been wanting to test this out. I just showered, so my hair is wet, and I'm letting it air dry, and I put this in my hair to pull my hair back, but anyway, I have done a sheet mask that was like coffee, that had coffee in it and stuff, and I wasn't too impressed. I wanted it to be like a very intense smelling coffee to kind of like wake me up a bit. Uh, so I'm really hoping that this is what this does. So if you guys are curious on how this product works, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to take my glasses off. This is what my skin is looking like. I do have a pretty good size breakout right here. My skin is just... I naturally, if you guys are if you've been to my channel, I had this little like bump right here. I guess you'd call it a beauty mark, but sometimes it tends to um, have little issues, and that's what that's doing right now. So joy. Other than that, I do have some redness and a little bit of bumps on my face, some imperfections. So I'm hoping that this exfoliates my face really well. So this says that you can use it on your face and body. Like I said, it said let's have another cup of coffee. Wake your skin up with this exfoliating mask, leaving it smooth and soft. So, I'm going to open this puppy up right now. Oh my gosh, guys. And this is what it looks like. This smells so good. It has been leaking through the bottom, so I'm hoping that they didn't really dry it out any. Uh, because, like, some of the syrup and stuff has been, like, all over my bathroom counter. But, uh, yeah, again, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab some. It's very, very thick, if you can see that, but it smells really good. I got a camera right here, so I'm just going to put this all over my face. So it has a smell, so it definitely smells like coffee, but it's got another kind of a more natural smell to it. I'll look at the ingredients and see what it says. I'm just using the product that was on top of the lid. Not quite sure how too much of this is. I'm going to take my nose ring out because we want to get it all in the cracks and crevices. If you guys know of any coffee face mask that I have not tried out, definitely, oh, that was cold, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know because I don't know what it is. I love trying out, like, I love trying out any face mask, but especially if it's coffee because I just love the smell of coffee. It's very rare that I actually drink coffee because it does like upset my stomach but uh I just I love walking past it in the grocery store because it just smells amazing like I said all right so I have it all over my face let's see what the ingredients say so I can pinpoint it's got agave syrup I think it says right here, good to know, this smooth blend has organic agave syrup inside to leave your, you feeling sweet. It's got tons of different oils in it, um, obviously 
coffee, vanilla. I can't really pinpoint, but it's probably like all the different stuff just mixed together. So this says to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I will be back after this is what it's looking like up close. <laughs> looks kind of like not coffee. It looks more like a green color on camera, but I'm going to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes and I'll come back, show you guys what it looks like dry and then we'll wipe it off and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is what the face mask is looking like right now. It didn't dry down at all, which I'm not quite sure why I thought it would dry down because it does have that like syrup stuff in it. So anyway, gonna wipe it off, exfoliate the face, let you guys know what I think about it. I'm Akshu, Akshu. I'm also going to be um, testing it out on my body. So if you want to see me do that, then um, obviously just keep watching. All right, I just washed it off and I am like blown, blown away. Like so blown away. I wish I could show you guys how smooth my face is. Like just, you could look at my face I feel like and see how just fresh and glowy and soft my face looks besides this obviously. It took away a lot of those little imperfection like bumps that I had on my face. So obviously I needed to exfoliate. I'm sitting in front of the window so it looks a little bright but I just wanted to show you guys with natural lighting how amazing, I mean to me my skin looks amazing besides the breakout but my skin feels so soft. Usually when I use an exfoliating mask um, my face feels very like dry afterward uh, and I'm like oh my gosh cringing to put on moisturizer but I'm really not like wanting to run and go put moisturizer. I'm going to. It's very important to tone your face and then put moisturizer on after you do a face mask but I love the fact that it didn't dry my skin out and I really feel like it just kind of like helped me feel a little bit more awake and stuff. I'm very curious on how it's going to work on the body. So first off I want to say um, 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. And um, let's try it out on the body. All right, so I'm just trying this on the back of my legs where I have some problem areas, you know, where you get all that cellulite and kind of stuff. So coffee stimulates uh, blood vessels and blood flow, and it tightens the skin. So, uh, yeah, this is a good area to do this, but you can do it all over your body. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I do recommend this mask, like you've heard me say previously in this video. If you guys like these kind of videos, be sure you hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out. Also, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.